YouTube, how are you doing? Today I have here with me the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2. I know it's a kind of old tablet already, but today we're gonna upgrade this tablet, of course, to a higher build. We're gonna make it uh, fantastic again. <laughs> Okay, here's the tablet and there's the Windows computer. Okay, so we're gonna put this thing in a download mode. So how to do that? In fact, there's no home button to press. So I think it will be the volume down. Let's remove the cable first because the battery is popping up. I think it's gonna be volume, volume down and power on. Keep holding. There we go. You see, we are in download mode. So now we do the volume one time up and the device is in a download mode. Okay, I just now said that we're gonna flash twerp and then go into the recovery and then flash the root file. That is also possible. I have a root file that can do that. But we're gonna do it a little bit different. We're gonna first flash CF auto root special for this device. Okay, it's a kind of big file and what it will do, it will flash uh, uh, the tablet and then it will reboot the tablet and then it's going to install root and super su and then it's going to restore the re original recovery back. Okay, so that means we will have to go after that back into a download mode to get the device uh, 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 a good recovery and that will be twerp okay so twerp will be step two we first do the cf auto root and let's go ahead and do that okay it's flashing there you can see it's flashing and in fact, I don't have to do anything now. I'm just going to pull out the cable. And there we go. And there is the little devil android. And that is CF Auto Root in action. So thumbs up there to the developers of this beautiful software tool. And sorry for my big hand there in front. I'm trying to get into the recovery. But that is not yet possible. So, now the device is rooted. And now we're going to put it back into a download mode. So we can go ahead and install Twerp. Okay, device is back in a download mode. And I'm going to hit PDA and select the Twerp. 2.8 and there it goes look at the line on the device and I disabled auto reboot so I'm gonna try and see if it's possible to turn it off the hard way sorry for my hand there what I'm doing I'm I'm I'm, I'm holding the volume up and I'm pressing the power button to to turn the device off okay and then I'm gonna press power again the moment it goes off and then release the buttons if the logo pops up and that would bring us, there we go, in Twerp. So now we just install Twerp on the Samsung Tab 2, the 5110. All right, so that's kind of cool. So now we can do two things. We can immediately now, if we want, install Lineage uh, 13 or 14, and we can also do a wipe, but we can also do an update. Uh, at the twerp.me website, you will find uh, the updated twerp, the image, and by hitting install, you will be able to select, um, how you say that? Uh, you will be able to select the, the image file 
uh, and then do the update okay remember that if you're gonna do the update you will have to uh, first do boot and then recovery there are two options boot and recovery okay so that's what you will have to do and then reboot back into recovery uh, from outwerp all right otherwise it's gonna be kind of yeah maybe difficult for you to do that uh, with your fingers again because that's not always uh, the timing must be really good so um, that's how you are gonna upgrade you must do both of them first the boot and then uh, the the recovery so and then twerp will be upgraded and uh, after that of course we boot back into recovery uh, just like that and there we go wow look at that <laughs> the latest twerp installed on the tab 2 so yeah that's it peeps uh, now only thing that you have to do is go to wipe and then do advanced wipe and start selecting all these uh, not not uh, the last one, eh? not the micro SD card, but just select them all and do a wipe. And after that, simply go to uh, select your your storage, select the storage that has your Lineage OS file, and then hit OK. And there, select your file that you're gonna install. In this case, it will be Lineage OS 14.1 uh, for this device. Of course link will be in the description as usual also for the twerp and the updated image for twerp well in fact that you should get from uh, the official website eh? because in fact they don't want uh, us to uh, uh, yeah we must we must send you guys to there but I'm gonna bundle everything together just in case but the reason why they want to do that is that uh, because uh, sometimes each uh, files get corrupt and then yeah people end up with uh, not working recoveries but I never had that with twerp yet I think all the versions of twerp even the old versions still work fine okay I rebooted the tablet as you can see the iOS mod also went fine and we're in the system look at that wow lineage OS and uh, yeah now we can simply uh, go ahead and do all the little steps that we have to do to log in to uh, to the desktop one thing you will still have to do that is flash add on su uh, arm because we installed lineage os 14.1 now and root will be turned off by default but most of you testers know that already but if yeah some newbie is doing this and he came until here and it's like hey my root is not working you know go ahead uh, tap the build number for nine or seven eight times and then go into the developers options that will be uh, enabled because of you tapping on the build number and then uh, look for root access and you will see that it's turned off so install the add on su go back to that root part in developers options and you will find out that you will be able to select uh, select apps to have root access okie do so here I did not do that yet and in fact we can do it real fast so you can see that it works it installs in a wink so yeah in fact yeah I can uh, boot up you see that I can only do ADB so I have no root so what we're gonna do uh, we're just gonna reboot la device a eh? Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Reboot A, la device A, in recovery mode A. Yes, so we're going to recovery mode A, madame et monsieur. Mais oui, on va à la recovery. Parce que le route, c'est pas un travail. Hein? Ne travaille pas le route. Pas bon, pas bon. So we must uh, fix it. Fix it un petit peu. Pour la route, travaille bien. And my Deutsche Freunde, natürlich, weißt du auch? And da sind we dann, meine Freunde. And here you can see the beautiful uh, Tab 2 that now looks like an iPad. A 10 inch iPad, jawohl. 
it looks really nice and really sexy i must say thumbs up to you know to all that uh, worked on this including samsung for putting in this great hardware so the developers can still work on it and create something beautiful for us the users and also yeah maybe the newcomers that get a second hand device but are smart and can thanks to these uh, tutorials that we create and thanks to these developers and their downloads you know we can at least do something nice so you know what let's i'm 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 now want to i want to root this device now so let's just uh, go ahead and reboot back into uh into the recovery mode because I think that is now mandatory. Muy bien, we are back in Twerpo. And we go to my SD Carta and we look for Ad on su arm. So we're gonna select that and we're just gonna flash it. And there you go. It's flashing and we reboot it. And now, if everything is okay, this device should be rooted. The. Uh, boot might be a little bit slow, but it's uh, gonna be there. And here you can see we are now rooted. We can select apps only. Best way to test if the device is really rooted is to run the Android firewall. You will immediately get a pop up asking you if it's allowed to run root. Of course, you will say yes and remember for the next time well peeps that was it this is how to upgrade your samsung tab to the p5110 to the latest android including all the tools and just for the record the cam also works so peeps i want to thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and love to see you in my next one again until then bye bye